It's two o'clock in the morning. I'm playing MLB The Show. <coughs> uh, 24. Super fun game. I'm in a franchise mode because this is the year that I actually bought the game, so I'm going to have this game for a while, you know, on this generation of console. And I'm super excited about it because I'm working on, um, what's it called? I'm working on basically just building up a franchise. I'm in the Mariners and I'm building up like the uh, sponsorships and stuff. I have 30k per stolen base and 30k per um, game. And I'm trying to figure out if I want to change to another sponsorship. I'm thinking about getting one per runs. I have stubs because I bought the uh, pre-order. <laughs> So I got packs and stuff, and I ended up selling some stuff for uh, stubs, too. And it's a super fun game. Now, if you go on the MLB The Show subreddit, a lot of people are hating it. But it's so fun, and I'm ha I'm enjoying it. I played it last year. And the cool thing is, since it is on Game Pass, playing it counts as my daily quest to join Game ca or play a Game Pass game. Uh, which helps, because my goal is at some point hopefully within the next year or two, to have enough Game Pass points to redeem for, or not game, Xbox, rewards points to redeem for a free month of Game Pass. So right now I'm working on getting a living copy of every Pokemon, um, and I'm in Generation 1 right now. So I'm in Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, because that has all the Gen 1 through 4 Pokemon. And I'm up to Tentacool, Tentacruel, and I don't know where my Tentacruel went, so I'm just going to make a new one. And then... <laughs> My Geodude and my Graveler. I evolved the Geodude into a Graveler into a Golem, so I have to make two more, and it's it's interesting. It's It's been fun, and I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm hoping to have all 151 of the original 151 Pokemon by the end of the week, if not sooner. Um, I'm going to take a nap right now. It's about 3 a.m. and get back up in time for baseball. I'm up to uh, 775 hours of watch time on uh, YouTube over the last 365 days now in terms of my longer form video, so that's cool. I'm working on, um, and the plan is to have it out by next week, Wednesday. I'm working on a video, well, right now I'm working on the script. Hopefully I'll have it out before Wednesday. Uh, but basically a 2024 Major League Baseball uh, preview uh, type deal. Basically, I go through the additions and subtractions from the team and what I think is going to happen um, with each team. Go oh, division by division. So AL East, AL Central, AL West, NL East, NL Central, NL West. I like the six divisions, five teams each, a lot better than the um, eight divisions, four teams each that the NFL does. Yeah, because 8 times 4 is 32. Uh, getting ready to watch the uh, Dodgers-Padres right now. Not really have much energy today, but I mean, you know, that's to be expected. The dog died less than a week ago, so like, you know, I don't have much energy. So I'm probably going to just watch this, work on some things a little bit. Maybe go to sleep pretty quick after, and just, yeah, then hopefully after that have some energy. I got a bowl of oatmeal to hopefully... You know, at least get some fiber in me. Maple cinnamon. It's really freaking good. Okay, so being over here on the East Coast, I usually am up late to watch baseball since I'm a Mariners fan. Um, usually I'd go to bed around now after Mariners games over the summer last year. I'd, what I'd do is I'd watch Mariners games, then I'd watch House and whatever. Um, and then do my schoolwork for my online classes that I was taking last semester. <coughs> last summer. But getting up at 6 a.m., 5.30 a.m. to actually watch a game of baseball just feels so weird. Um, and I'm going to be doing it again tomorrow. It's it's pretty cool that they're doing this. And I know it's because they wanted it to be for Korea and the Koreans to be able to watch the game of baseball at a time that was good for them. It's just <laughs> It just feels weird to watch baseball right now. I'm going to end up probably getting up early again tomorrow, pull up my uh, sports predictions, and then start working on my um, MLB predictions for preview for the year and who I think is going to win each division. Eh, I'm not not sure if I'm going to do World Series predictions. I might. <coughs> I know who I want to win the World Series, but I don't know if this is the year that we do it. Um, 
if the Mariners win the World Series this year, that would be amazing. <laughs> and honestly, if the Mariners go to the World Series, I want them to play against the Mets. <laughs> so that way I could potentially go to a couple of games, but I don't think the Mets are making the World Series. It's just about 8 p.m. and all I've been able to do for like the last, I don't know, half hour ever since I saw the Otani news, maybe hour, is just look at videos of Otani's um, issues, look at um, the Reddit threads, look everywhere. Major League Baseball's not really posted much so far. I think just one thing. We'll see if Otani is even going to be able to play in the morning. Because, remember, only 26 can be on the roster for game day. They, they, they brought 31 over. So, if Otani has to be scratched, somebody else can DH tomorrow. But it's absolutely wild to me that this broke. And I thought that the Major League Baseball season was going to start, you know, kind of calm, nice 6 a.m. baseball. <laughs> And then it did. The game was pretty cool. Some weird things happened, including that broken glove, a walk on a pitch clock violation on the first first plate appearance of the season. All sorts of fun stuff uh, happened, and uh, yeah, there's that. But I'm trying to figure out more information about this Otani thing because if it if it turns out that he actually sent that money, he's gonna be suspended. He's gonna be suspended for at least a year. And I don't know how that would affect his contract with deferrals.